the nine most powerful women on Wall Street in 2016. Number 9, Sally Krawcheck Sally is the co-founder and CEO of Alivast, a digital investment platform for women, which is about to be launched this year. In the past, she was a president of the Global Wealth and Investment Management Division of Bank of America. Number 8, Jane Fraser. Mrs. Fraser is a CEO of Citigroup Latin America, and she's responsible for 23 countries including Mexico. According to American Banker, she is the number one woman to watch in 2014 and 2015. Last year she was ranked as number 41 on Fortune's list of the 51 most powerful women in business. In 2009, she took over a global private bank which was at that time losing roughly $250 million. Number 7, Barbara Byrne. Who are looking at the number 3 most powerful woman in finance. Barbara Byrne holds the position of Vice President at Barclays, the British multinational banking and financial services company. Like some other prominent females on Wall Street, Byrne has a huge passion for helping women in their business career. She is the founder of Berkeley's Women in Leadership Index, which supports Number 6, Lita Braga. Mrs. Braga is a CEO and head of Systematic Trading Blue Crest. Originally from Brazil, Braga has proven that there are no limits when it comes to women and their influence in the tough world of Wall Street. As of February 2016, Lotto Braga is managing over $10 billion, making her one of the most influential female hedge fund managers in the world. Her net worth is about $3.5 billion. Her fortune is a result of excellence and dedication in the business environment which is still dominated by men. Number 5. Alexandria Lebenthal also called the new queen of Wall Street is a co-CEO of Lebenthal Holdings. Because of her generous support towards other females with who try to succeed on Wall Street, she was named one of the top 50 women in wealth management by Wealth Manager magazine. If you are interested in investing, number 4, Mary Callahan Rados. Mary Callahan Rados is listed as number 53 on the Power Women of 2015 list on Forbes for a reason. She studied at Georgetown University and earned her Master of Business Administration from Harvard University where she graduated in 1993. She is a chief executive at J.P. Morgan Chase. In recent years, Rados has created a program designed to help women return to wealth management after they have taken a break from their career life. In her program Woman on the Move, number 3, Sonia Gardner. Sonia Gardner is slightly different from other Wall Street women. She grew up in a pretty humble environment. Her mother was a school teacher and her father was a computer programmer. She is part of her justice which is our organization helping victims of domestic violence, 100 women in hedge funds and the Mount Sinai Medical Center. Mrs. Gardner is the president and co-founder of Avenue Capital Group, with over $12.5 billion in assets. Number 2, Abigail Johnson. Have you ever heard about Fidelity? the second largest mutual fund company in the world with $2 trillion in assets? Let me introduce to you their CEO, Abigail Johnson. The net worth of Mrs. Johnson is, according to Forbes, $14.9 billion. Yes, you read it right. She graduated with a bachelor's degree from Hobart and William Smith College in 1984, before earning an MBA from Harvard University. Number 1, Ruth Korat. Ruth Porette is the Chief Financial Officer at Morgan Stanley, Senior Vice President of Alphabet Incorporated, and Senior Vice President with Google since May 2015. In 2000, 
Mrs. Porat took public some of the insanely famous companies in the world like Amazon and Priceline.